there are a variety of different types of brain imaging modalities. And, uh, and the reason so many different ones have arisen is because each one has different strengths and limitations. And the strengths and limitations often involve trade-offs between uh, temporal resolution and spatial resolution, and then also of the different kinds of signals they can measure. An example of, the, of this, the temporal resolution basically means uh, how fast uh, can a, a, an event in the brain be measured. And uh, with imaging, you have some uh, measurements that are quite slow in temporal resolution and some that are quite fast in temporal resolution. And the, the fastest one, uh, which can really get at real-time events, would be electrical Im imaging or magnetic imaging. And so uh, magnetic, uh, magnetoencephalography, or MEG, uh, would be one of the most popular new imaging modalities. And its advantage is that it can literally measure brain function as fast as the brain is actually working uh, in, with a millisecond time window. In contrast, a PET would be an example of a slow resolution technique. And many of the PET images that we obtain to look at dopamine receptor function or uh, glucose metabolism have a time window, a time resolution that, in, that is more on the order of about 10 minutes. And so, we, uh, so you can't measure the fast changes associated with, uh, with, uh, men with mental operations or cognitive operations so well as you can with imaging modalities with a fast temporal resolution.